They are very different, but they're the most classic piece from their own designer house. I think it will be really fun to do a comparison video between the Chanel Classic Flap and the Hermes Birkin. Besides all the basic specs, I'm also going to be comparing their prices, availability, quality, and investment value. In the end, I'm going to tell you who's the winner in my opinion. Leave me a comment down below to let me know if you're a Team CC or Team H. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. This is my Chanel Classic Flap in medium to large size gold hardware caveat leather. When it comes to leather, Chanel offers many different types of leather, but the common ones are like lambskin, caviar, patent leather, tweed, jersey, velvet. This is my Hermes Birkin 30 in Togo leather, gold hardware, and Ito color. Hermes also offer many different types of leather, but the common ones are like Togo, Clemence, Swift, Epson, Box. Hardware-wise, Chanel has silver hardware, gold hardware, Ruthenia hardware, brush gold hardware. Hermes has gold hardware, rose gold hardware, palladium hardware. These are the common hardware that we can see. Size-wise, the classic flap has small size this is medium to large and there's a jumbo there's a maxi and also the minis has square mini rectangular mini the most common size Birkin are size 25 30 35 40 if you watched my special Hermes bags that you need to know video I also mentioned there's also a Hermes Birkin fubu it's also in the size 20. I'll leave the video down below in the description box so that you can check it out after this video. One more thing about Birkin is Birkin also has Salier style and the Retorn style which Chanel doesn't have. My Birkin is in the Retorn style where you can see all the stitching are being sewed inside. The bag appears to be more slouchy and there's also the Salier style. The Birkin Fubu that I mentioned is in the Salier style. The bag is more structured. When it comes to war fits, you can visibly see Birkin 30 is way bigger than the medium to large classic flap. It can fit way more stuff than this one. And ways to wear for the Chanel classic flap, I can wear a shoulder bag and I can just carry it and I can also crossbody Birkin that I can only hand hold it or carry it under my wrist or I can also carry it as a shoulder bag but it's not that common to carry it this way. Just by looking at these two bags, Chanel's is definitely more classy, more feminine, more ladylike versus Hermes is definitely way more casual. Chanel definitely can be used as day to night. Birkin is definitely the perfect day bag because it carries a lot of stuff but then it's probably a little bit tough if you want to use it at, as an evening bag to some events, weddings, stuff like that because the size 30 is a little bit too big. Let's talk about the price. I know you guys are most interested in the price difference. So the Birkin 30 in Togo leather in the US is selling for 10,900 and plus tax. And Chanel recently had a price increase in January. The Chanel medium to large classic flap is selling for $6,800 plus tax. After the latest price increase, the gap between the Chanel Classic Flap and a Birkin 30 is definitely way smaller compared to before. Besides the market price right now, I also want to talk a little bit about how much I paid for each bag because I bought this Chanel Classic Flap from many years ago and I paid for $2,600. Can you believe it? A Hermes Birkin? and I acquired it with my husband together in Paris in 2019. I paid for 7,550 euro, which is really a great deal compared to the US price. I also have a dedicated video to talk about how I got this Birkin and the, the tips can help you to get a bag in Paris. If you're interested, I'll link it down in the description box. Let's talk about the availability. In order to get a Hermes Birkin, you absolutely need spending history. You need to buy something in order to get this bag. And you don't always get the combo that you want. It really depends on your luck. Well, Chanel does not require spending history, but at the same time, certain really popular color leather hardware combo in certain season, 
they're selling super fast. It's hard to get also. Sometimes you have to get on the wait list in order to get the desired combo that you want. But relatively speaking, it's still easier than getting a Hermes Birkin. So I mentioned in some of my other videos, Chanel's quality is definitely inconsistent in between seasons. I definitely experienced some quality issue in the past. In addition, the Chanel bags is still machine made, while the Hermes Birkin is handmade. It takes really long time to handmade a Birkin like this. Also, only qualified artisans with many years of experience can make bags like Birkin. So I have this bag since 2019 and I still admire the quality of the bag so much and I love it. I'm honestly so amazed by the craftsmanship and the, the detail of the bag, like the corner, how they handled it, and the, the hardware details. The bag is just incredible insanely beautiful and I definitely have to say Hermes Birkin is the winner when it comes to the quality and I appreciate the craftsmanship so much. When you try to resell your Chanel classic flap you can resell it to the current new retail price where versus Hermes Birkin you can sell way higher than the current retail price due to it's hard to get and also require spending history. When it comes to investment value, Hermes definitely wins. So I would say both of them are classic style and great to have. Birkin definitely wins when it comes to quality and investment value, but of course it's also hard to get. The fact that, that it requires spending history, you need to spend more to in order to get this bag and also Birkin is more expensive. I love both bags. I honestly think I can see myself rocking both bags in many years to come even when I'm a grandma. I definitely own more Chanel bags than Hermes bags at this moment but I definitely hope to get more Hermes bags as I'm getting older. Other thing that I realized is that as I age, I do really really appreciate the craftsmanship, the quality of the Birkin. Personally, I love both but as I age, I can see myself leading toward a Birkin a little bit more. One thing can help you to decide which one to get. Besides figure out which one you like more, you can ask yourself a question which one you would wear more based on your lifestyle so that you can keep the cost per wear low. So I hope this video is informative and helpful. Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you are team CC or team H. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.